Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Walking Dead video because I know we talk about that so much here on my YouTube channel, ah! But in all seriousness, this comes courtesy of my friends over at Diamond Select. We have the exclusive first look at the entire first wave of their brand new 7-inch scale from the Image Comics slash Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead comic book. Now, the first figure of said two-figure wave is the one, the only, the original samurai herself, Michonne. And she looks great, comes packaged with a ton of accessories on the backside of the box, which is okay, it does the trick in getting us the figure, right? You can screen grab this if you want to read up on Michonne. And this figure was sculpted by Paul Harding and designed by Eamon O'Donohue. 25 years of Diamond Select, congratulations. I can't believe how the time has flown. And here's the barcode. I'll put links down in the description below for Amazon. Now, the other figure in said wave, we have the samurai, but of course we need the cowboy. And of course I'm talking about Rick Grimes himself. Now, it is going to be the exact same packaging, exact same layout. It's nothing crazy. Like I said, it just does the trick. You can read up on old Ricky Grimes here. And Rick was sculpted by May Tham Tarana and designed by Eamon O'Donohue. With the barcode being right here, and like I said, I will put affiliate links down in the description below. Thanks for using my link. So this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the entire first wave of the brand new from Diamond Select. Image Comics and Skybound Entertainment's The Walking Dead. And so now here's everything taken out of their respective packaging. Each figure comes with a variety of accessories, which is always great to see. But what really catches my attention here is the paint scheme they have gone with. These characters look like they walked right out of their comic book. Michonne comes with a variety of hands, sword holding hands, weapon holding hands, outstretched hands, plenty of hands to take down those pesky walkers. She also comes with a rather large gun, AK-47, something like that. I'm sure you'll correct me down in the comments below. It's just flat black. Yes, she can hold it. And yes, you can utilize both hands to hold it in a variety of ways, we'll just say. And also with the strap, it can also hang on her back, which is always a nice touch. She also comes with her purse. It's a bit of a dirty gray purse. It has a little bit of a wash to it. It has nice details. It just looks very, very comic booky. And you can hang it off her shoulder, or perhaps you can whack a walker if they are getting out of line. Now, you do get her iconic samurai sword. It does have the strap. It does have the sheath. Everything looks solid, including the sword that pops out of said sheath, and it's painted nicely. It has a nice hilt, the handle, the blade, everything you would need for a samurai sword for Michonne. You can kinda sorta get her in this pose where she's reaching back and pulling out the samurai sword. She will have some limited articulation, we'll talk about that in just a few, but in holding it, I did have to heat the hands, kind of just squeeze them a little bit just to get a tighter grip. It was a little bit loose, but I will say this. In looking at this figure, the sculpted details, the face alone, the hair, and that paint scheme looks amazing. Diamond Select knocked it out of the park in terms of bringing these classic comic book characters now to life. This is amazing, it's a lot of fun, especially when you have more in living color type figures in the background. It looks like it grayscaled out half of your toys. Peg holes on the bottom, the details of the boots, the laces, the socks. She even has that Kevlar sort of chain mail armor that you can see right below her pant leg. I love to see that, that's some awesome detail. But what's even cooler, as you travel up her leg in terms of where some of her pants have been ripped, you can see that that Kevlar continues and that is on both sides of her legs. Continuing up to that skirt piece, she has that really cool design along with that designer belt right there, the jackets, the little bit of a bandage on one arm, the gloves. It's just all really cool. Again, this is what I think of. When you say you're gonna make a toy in black and white, yeah, they nailed this. In terms of the articulation, the head portrait does not knock into the collar. Her hair does not impede anything. You can get it left, right, up, down. The arms, now I'm gonna say, 
I wish Diamond Select had just improved upon the articulation a bit because these figures look so dang good. It's gonna be kind of around there. That's as high as the arm is gonna go out off to the side. She will twist at the elbow. She has single jointed elbows. Double jointed would have been nice in this case because of the weapons and such. And her gloves are on a swivel. It's an odd choice to be sure. I wish it was a different articulation scheme like you'll see with Rick Grimes. This one is kind of just like a head on a ball socket kind of thing. It just kind of rotates where I wish it had more momentum up, down, left, right. She does have an ab crunch. She has a waist swivel. Her skirt piece will definitely impede the legs. They're not gonna really move all that much. I wish it had a slit on one side so you could just get more momentum, more movement out of her. Single jointed knees. I do wish that the joint there was painted black. It's gray, so it kind of stands out. She'll swivel at the knees, swivel at the boots, and then she has her actual feet, which will go up, down, left, right, side to side, peg holes on the bottom. Not too shabby. In terms of what I look for articulation, it does meet my fancy, but there are some things, especially when utilizing some of the accessories that I wish, yes, added articulation would have been more ideal. When you look at Rick Grimes, who I'm gonna tell you, just to save you some time, is an awesome figure. Now, he does come with several hands. The right hand for him will have bandages where the other one does not. So several hands really bring this character to life. Keep in mind, they are rather large hands. More on that in just a few. But swip swapping them is easy. And again, I like how one of them is bandaged. You do get a hatchet slash ax. It's very simple. It's that black and white gray scale. He holds it really nicely. So if there be a walker a walking, you can definitely get a chopping and that looks oh so cool. He does come with a sh... Hold on one second. It's a rifle. That's right, because I have mush mouth sometimes. So you have the rifle, which has, again, nice gray, black and white color scheme to it. But how does it look when Rick Grimes holds it? Well, if you have it just like this, you probably won't think anything of it. You can continue living your life. The unfortunate thing is that he has rather large hands and some of the weapons with him are very small, teeny tiny. He'll hold it, but he can't exactly hold it well nor get his finger on the trigger. When it comes to Michonne, she can hold this much better because she has tinier hands. Unfortunately though, because of her limited articulation in the hands, then kind of getting it in more of that neutral pose with it, kind of lacks a little bit. He also does come with that same larger all black weapon as Michonne. So you can kind of probably think of where I'm going with this. <laughs> Be careful of the strap too. It's kind of hanging on by a thread. It's not tearing, but just keep in mind. Now, this gun does work a little bit better than the prior rifle. Yes, he holds it. Yes, I do think it's a little bit too teeny tiny with his hands, but you can at least get the finger on the trigger. The unfortunate thing once again though is if you try to get it more into a neutral pose to kind of hold it with two hands because of his limited articulation in this sense, you really won't be able to do that. But what does look cool, because there's only really one gun for Rick, it does look good hanging on his back. He also comes with his golf bag. It's jet black. There's no other paint on it. It has a strap and plenty of room to fit all the weapons, maybe even some hands in there if you so choose. And yes, even Michonne's weapons can go in there. It looks good and it looks really great hanging off his back as he's traveling the wilderness trying to locate his family. But I will say this, just kind of having it handheld, why wow, that looks amazing as well. So you can really go either way with this giant golf bag. The extra head portrait for Rick Grimes looks amazing. I gotta give it to him. The sculpts on these head portraits are amazing. And then you have that black and white gray scale to it, just brings it more to life. It is astounding what they have done here. And it really does look good. Swip swapping the heads is really easy. Hat on, hat off hey, you'll be having a lot of fun. Now, in terms of the actual Rick Grimes figure, or grimy, as he likes to be called, the hat, that is very cool. I just wish that it was 
removable. Because honestly, that would've been kinda cool to have the hat be handheld in some poses. It gets kinda gappy in the neck, as you can clearly see from side to side, but you won't notice it as he is head on. The hat itself, again, with the head portrait, with the collar, everything really works together to make everything pop off one another. He even has some excellent decal application right there. The jacket, you can see his shirt, all the folds, all the tears of his pants, the backside. Really can't say enough nice things about the sculpt, the paint. It looks amazing. Right there on his shoulder, you have the sheriff's department. That looks awesome. Now, of course, like I said, if you're gonna have Rick Grimes, you've gotta have his classic signature revolver. And that's the best part. That's the gun that Rick Grimes should have. Yes, the other ones are just bonus. Yes, they should still work within the context of an action figure, but I tell you, I'm not gonna be using those because this is the gun for me. And it goes right into his holster. It fits perfectly, it looks great. You'd think these things would be so simple, but I've seen other companies attempt it and you aced it, so well done. You also have little rips and tears in his jeans, which they have painted just to kind of bring it to life a little bit more, down to his black boots. You got peg holes on the bottom. This is an awesome looking comic book style, Image Comics, Rick Grimes figure. You get plenty of articulation out of the head, up, down, left, right. Like with Michonne, this is again where I'm gonna say, you've done a great job, Diamond Selects, but I wish you would have improved upon the articulation. Perhaps Negan and then the Walkers, those will be part of wave two. It's gonna be the same dealio. There's nothing at the bicep, he'll swivel at the elbow, single jointed. They are pinless though, so, in that sense, I think that that's really terrific, but he has much better articulation in the hands than Michonne. He has one heck of an ab crunch, ab rotation, that totally works. And at first I didn't actually know if he had a waist, but it was a little bit stuck. He just kind of give it a little pressure and boom. Yes, he does have a waist swivel. The legs do have some thigh swivel to them. That comes in handy. I'll show you later in the video. Single jointed knees, spins at the knee. And much like Michonne, he has the gray pin in the knee. Again, I wish it fit better for the coloring of the pants. That way it wouldn't stand out as much. Plenty of shoe Boot rotation there, peg holes on the bottom. And again, the articulation is just okay. It could have been proved upon though, and that would have been awesome. Now, in terms of the scalature for these new Walking Dead figures, they're in the seven inch line. So if you have zombies or fresh monkey fiction, they will go quite nicely with these new figures. In terms of, let's say McFarlane toys, Spawn, DC Multiverse, Yes, they will scale with those as well. Not every character is gonna be ultimately perfect, but at least you have Batman and Spawn. That's a nice touch, especially with Image Comics. Marvel Legends, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, I think they're a little bit too tall. You can kind of sort of fudge them in there, but I wouldn't say it's perfect. I would say it's, yeah, right on that cusp. Like you could, but don't. And you could also put them with the Ninja Turtles by NECA Toys. Now, one thing I wanna point out, in prior Ninja Turtle Land, we've always seen black and white, right? And they truly are black and white. If NECA Toys can do what Diamond Select has done here with this grayscale black and white comic book newsprint kind of dealio for the Ninja Turtles, for the Mirage, oh, I'd be all over that. Please do that, that would be amazing. And as to point out where those thigh swivels really come in handy for a character like Rick Grimes, Yes, that totally works if you have a horse. And I know it's more the TV show, but we're not gonna get into that. The comic book is vastly superior, we'll just say. But what's really cool is in utilizing said McFarlane horse, you can use the storage, the golf bag. You could put that on the back. He even has a little weapon storage like Jonah Hex does. Ah, you could totally use that. So. My recommendation, if you have a Rick Grimes and you like that whole scenario, definitely get a horse because when he gets overpowered by said zombies, which you know he's gonna, you can take them down promptly and that is oh so cool. So that is gonna wrap it up for my early look at the brand new first wave of the Diamond Select The Walking Dead comic book action figure line. And again, thank you to my friends over at Diamond Select for sending these out for the purposes of this video. There's a couple hiccups with the weapons, but nothing that is crazy where I'm like, oh God, that doesn't work. Mainly for me, and this is kind of something I go back and forth with. I think that if anything, the articulation could just be improved upon, most definitely. So hopefully with wave two, like I said, Negan and the walkers, 
that would be cool just to kind of improve upon that. More walkers, more zombies. And I am kind of bummed that there wasn't anything more zombie related within these two boxes. Maybe a head, an arm, something like that. Just to kind of add credence to the whole, you know, The Walking Dead. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything The Walking Dead. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Frank Darabont rocked that first season. That was amazing. You actually felt bad for the walkers. You felt bad for the everybody involved. That first episode, that is just gold. And to this day, I watch it every Halloween. It's a masterpiece. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.